Welcome to another part. This is actually something I should have done a long time ago. I should probably have done it immediately after installing cPanel and WHM. And that is changing the host name. So even though I did everything right to set up the host name, you can see that cPanel gave me a throwaway host name right there. And if I go to my server, let me just see if they affected anything on this end. So if I look at host name, or oh, you can see they even gave me this as a host name, even though I had set up my own host name. And if I go to VI Etsy hosts, I can see I had added this correctly and they have added something else here. You can see they just added it onto this. So this is not what I want, definitely not what I want. So I'm just going to delete this line and to delete in Vim, I can just do DD and that's going to delete that line. And then I'm going to do shift ZZ to save. And I'm not going to do anything else. Let me just come and change the host name on cPanel. So I'll come back here into cPanel. And if I come here, I can search for host name. Change host name. The host name that I want to use is that. Copy. Scroll down. There's an option to change your host name right there. So I'll do control plus to increase the font here. And then I'm going to paste. And I will change the host name. Let me just confirm that everything is as it should. That is the right domain I want to use. Yes, I'm just going to click on change. So give it time to do whatever it is doing. There we go. Host name is set to that. If I reload the page, let's see if this is going to change. Okay, so what happened? Anyway, let me just come back to my server and I'm going to confirm that the host name has been changed. So I'm just going to do host name once again. Okay, the host name has been changed there. Let's do Etsy. Let's look at the Etsy hosts file. So this is something that people forget, but this is very important for mail delivery. When SMTP servers are talking to each other, this is very important. You need to change, you need to ensure that your IP address, the IP address for your server is also uh, reflecting, is also reflecting your host name as it is doing there. You can see cPanel has added it for me here just like it should. So in the first part before, when I opened the file, I deleted I deleted this because I didn't want it to collide with what cPanel was adding. That's why I deleted it before changing the host name. So it's important to change it here in your Etsy host file, hosts file as well. So you've seen how you can change your host name in cPanel. And this is an important one. If you're going to do mail, make sure you change your host name. Shift ZZ to save, but even though I didn't change anything there. So you've seen how to change the host name. The next thing I want to do is, I want to show you how you can use your own, how you can use your own name servers, all right? Let's say you want your name servers to be ns dot domain. We're going to see how we can do that. We're going to use Namecheap for that, and I'm going to use this domain as a sample. The good thing about doing this is you don't have to use Cloudflare and your website will automatically get set up. If somebody creates a domain, the domain will instantly be accessible because you're using your name servers. Let's see how to set that up in the next part.